Welcome back to Airgun Academy. In previous episodes, I've shown you the brake barrel rifle, and you saw how ambidextrous it is. In this episode, I have something similar, but a little different. This is an RWS Diana 48, and it's a side lever spring piston air rifle. Like I said, it has some similarities to brake barrels, but there are some important differences you should know about. Nearly all side lever spring rifles work best with people who are right-handed, or those who have some ambidexterity. Some people think that since side levers have a fixed barrel, they must be more accurate than brake barrels. But that's not the case. A fixed barrel has no bearing on accuracy. Instead of the barrel being the cocking lever, like with brake barrels, the side lever has a separate cocking lever that pulls out to the right side of the rifle. Now that I've cocked this side lever, let me show you how it's loaded. First, put your elbow in front of the side lever, like this. The reason is because if the gun's mechanism was to fail, the lever would spring forward and hit my arm. That would prevent the sliding compression chamber from moving forward. So basically, if my elbow isn't there, I run the risk of seriously injuring my hand. Once the side lever is pulled all the way back, load the pellet. Insert the pellet, as always, with the opened end facing you. This particular rifle has an anti-bear trap ratchet with a button that you have to depress in order for the side lever to close. Push the button down, then slide the side lever forward. Notice that as I close the side lever, the sliding compression chamber moves forward. The side lever will click when it gets to the closed position. All that's left is to take the gun off of safe and you're ready to fire the gun. There's something really important you need to know about RWS side levers like this one. If you don't pull the side lever all the way back, the anti-bear trap mechanism will hold the lever in place. but the gun will not be cocked. When this happens, new gun owners will assume their gun is broken. All you have to do is pull the side lever back a little farther than you thought you needed to. Once you do that, the mechanism will be completely cocked and the anti-bear trap will be fully set. Come on, let's take this RWS out back and see it in action. Side levers are one of three types of spring piston air guns. Other spring pistons include brake barrels and under levers, which we'll cover in another episode. Side levers are very popular, quite accurate, and extremely powerful. The method of operation for a side lever rifle is a bit different from that of a brake barrel, but it's not that hard to get used to. As with all other air guns, always remember to wear your safety glasses when shooting. And leave your rifle on safe until you're ready to take your shot. And don't forget the main points we covered about loading and shooting your side lever. Make sure you completely cock the gun by pulling the side lever all the way back. 
Always use your elbow to prevent the side lever from unexpectedly snapping forward. Load the pellet, opened and facing you, directly into the breech. This particular rifle has an anti-bear trap ratchet with a button that you have to depress in order for the side lever to close. Push the button down, then slide the side lever forward. Then take the gun off of safe and take your shot. Side levers are a lot of fun to shoot and I strongly recommend picking one up. Thanks for watching Air Gun Academy. Stay tuned for another great lesson from Pyramid Air.